What is up, Pisces? How y'all doing? We're going to take a look at new love for you guys. New love, okay? Done lots of readings, read lots of situations, all kinds of stuff. Uh, I've done very little work on new love. I've been saying this at the beginning of every single video, but uh, I just kind of want to let it be known that I'm going to start adding this into the curriculum, okay? Uh, if you would like information on how to schedule a personal reading, please look in the description box of the video. Okay, everything you need to know is all down there. Okay. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and hop right into this. Pisces. What do we got for Pisces? We're going to do a quick energy check between you and this person. <clears throat> quick vibration check to see uh, basically how your all's energies are getting along together. How they are intermingling, if it's harmonious, disharmonious. Let's just see. Ooh, what jumped out for you here? <clears throat> Excuse me, I got a froggy throat. Nine of pentacles in the reverse. A little bit of codependency issues here. Could be an earth sign that you're dealing with. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. Could be financial codependence for some of you. Um, some of you could be dealing with somebody that's a bit of a bum. Doesn't really bring uh, very much to the table as far as uh, finances go, you know. Um, I don't know, though. Let's see here. Three shuffles. One. Two. And three. Mm, five of Pentacles in the reverse. Tower reverse. Five. Uh, look, it looks like it's popping off into conflict almost immediately. I don't know what the deal is. You know what this looks like to me? It looks like a fear of abandonment. Okay, I don't know if this person made you feel like they're about to abandon you or whatever the case may be, but I'm seeing conflict pop off almost immediately. Okay, I don't see the worst case scenario happen happening just yet, but I do see conflict here, All, like right off the bat. But tower reversed, five of pentacles reversed, okay? So I don't think you're jumping ship. I don't think you're abandoning this just yet. Could be a Taurus that you're dealing with, uh, but they they want to let this go. They they don't want any conflict. They don't want any drama. They don't want any arguments. They want something solid and stable with you. Okay. All right. So I do see. You know. Again, I don't know if this is present here or like or like really really recent past. But I, I do see most of for the most part y'all are getting over the conflict. Uh, there could have been some, like, disagreements right at the very beginning. And it looks like you're pretty much getting over it. But I don't really know how far you want to take this or how how uh, how fast you want to move forward with this here, okay? I think the problem is the person you're dealing with isn't really expressing very much emotion. Okay, King of Swords. They could come across as a little bit cold and detached. <clears throat> okay, yeah, see? Page of Pentacles. I'm sorry, Page of Cups reversed, Queen of Cups reversed. And the uh, King of Swords here. So I think that's the frustrating part, is this person is uh, not really forming a really solid emotional connection with you. And as a water sign, uh, y'all can struggle with that just a little bit, can't you? Uh, so, yeah. I don't really see, again, I don't really see you abandoning ship. I don't see you uh, uh, running from this just yet. But I do see, I do see some headbutting happening here, Okay. I do see some headbutting happening here. Let's look a little bit more at the person that you're dealing with. Person Pisces is dealing with. I want to pick their energy apart and look at, uh, basic, mainly what I'm looking at is how they feel about you and how they perceive the situation. Okay, how they feel about you and how they perceive the situation. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Okay, it could be a Virgo that you're dealing with. You got this hermit energy right here. Hmm. Let's get three shuffles. One, two, and three. So you're definitely dealing with somebody that's not afraid of being alone. They're not afraid of being alone at all. Maybe that's why they come across so closed off. Okay, I still think they're a little bit pissed off about uh, what happened in the past. Okay, they were this close to walking away. Okay, there's that tower card. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I kind of feel like this person has one foot out the door. Okay, they're not afraid of being alone. 
And it's like, well, okay, uh, we just met. We just started getting to know. I want to get to know you. If we jump into this with nothing but emotions, I'm not, I don't know you. I know, you know, just, I don't know who you are as a person if we're leading with our emotions first. I want to get to know you. Okay, and if you can't deal with that, I'm out of here. Okay, eight of cups, tower card. Okay, whatever this conflict was between the two of you, it's really, this person, like with this six of cups reversed, hermit. Okay, this is all about looking negatively, you know, back at what happened in the past. And not being afraid to be alone. And knight of cups reversed, ace of wands reversed. It's looking like they might walk away from this. I'm going to see Queen of Wands reversed. I think, I think they're immediately losing passion here because um, they, they're approaching this from a very logical point of view, and you would rather approach this from a very emotional point of view. So the two of you aren't really communicating uh, energetically in a way that each other, like you don't understand their communication and they don't understand your communication. You all are speaking two different languages. Okay, so it's looking to me like this person is this close to walking out the door. Okay, they're like, man, I don't want to deal with this. I'm not afraid to be alone, hermit. I'm not afraid of it. Been alone for a long time. I can be alone for a long time again. Hmm, man, Pisces. Turned out mm, a little bit less positive than I had hoped. Let's look at the most likely outcome, though. This right here is what we're really going to... This right here is what will separate... Uh, Separate it all and draw that line in the sand here. Do, 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 do. This is the most likely outcome. And then we're going to look at the advice after this. Like if it's a negative outcome, maybe we could get some advice that could uh, put us on a pathway to where we're basically carving out a more positive energetic pathway. Hopefully, maybe, we'll see. Do, 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 do. The Wheel of Fortune reversed. Okay. Three of cups. Ten of cups. Okay, nine of wands reversed. Good, good, good. Hold up, let's see. Okay, knight of wands upright. The world reversed. Okay, six of cups. Good, 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 good. All right, this close, y'all. This close. They have one foot out the door. But I do think that you all will more than likely successfully rein it back in and work through this. Okay, because there is a lot of potential for success here. Okay, but as I tell people all the time, potential energy is just potential energy. Okay. Uh, what if Michael Jordan one day, back when he was playing college basketball, said, man, you know what? I'm tired, dude. I don't feel like getting up early in the morning and practicing. Nah, I'm tired. I, I, don't, I don't feel like practicing. Maybe I'll be a good basketball player one day, maybe not. I, but this, uh, the, the practice, it just makes me tired. And, you know, all the dunking the basketball puts calluses on my hands. My hands are kind of hurting. I, I don't want to do this. What, 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 what would have happened to Michael Jordan's potential if that was his attitude? <laughs> Nothing would have happened with him, right? So just because there's potential doesn't mean, that's why I like to shy away from, from the phrase person I'm meant to be with. I don't like to use that phrase because a lot of people think that there's just this person that's destined to magically show up and make everything all better, and it doesn't work that way. There's potential here, but you have to utilize that potential. If you don't utilize that potential, you or the person you're dealing with, I'm not here to judge you. I'm not pointing fingers at you. You don't utilize the potential or the person you're dealing with. If, if all it takes is one person, okay, to either abuse or just neglect or just completely not care about, you know, utilizing this potential energy and down the drain. Okay, however, six of cups upright, nine of wands reversed. Okay, the cycle between the two of you is incomplete. Okay, you all haven't successfully completed the cycle that you all came together to complete. Uh, but I do think that by the skin of your teeth, you're going to pull it back together and head down a very successful pathway. Okay? Be 
careful though. If I were you, I would do everything I can to avoid any of this bullshit. You know, even if you come to me for a personal reading, I'll still tell you, you can change the outcome of this reading. Anything that comes up, because that, that's what was told to me when I got my first reading. I didn't go out looking for this reading. Just totally random person. A lot of you remember Tina. I didn't know who she was. I had no idea. Just this random lady walks up to me and says, I'm supposed to read for you. What do you mean read for me? You mean read me a bedtime story? What in the hell does that mean? You know, I didn't even know. I knew nothing about tarot cards, you know. So anyway, though, she was giving me this really insanely accurate reading and said, you can change the outcome of this reading if there's something that comes up and once you start seeing it happen in your life, if you don't like this, you can change it. And that was the most valuable thing she could have ever told me. Because I did. I had to change the outcome. I had to change timelines. And you can do the same thing. That's why I'm so hardcore on, on you can change the outcome. And if I was you, Pisces, this right here is very, very risky, dude. This is playing with fire. I would do the best that I can to avoid this conflict, if at all possible. Okay? Don't take the chance. Anyway, though, let's look at the advice here. Advice is for Pisces. Well, ooh, this one yelled at me. Okay, six of swords reverse. Don't move on from this. Don't go nowhere. Three shuffles. One, two, and three. Page of Pentacles reversed, Page of Cups reversed, Six of Wands reversed. There's that moon card. <coughs> Excuse me. All that incense and sage. Got my throat all froggy. Clearing out my throat chakra. I guess. Anyway, stay strong, okay? Stay strong. If I was you, I would avoid this. I would avoid any conflict. Uh, if you feel the onset of conflict starting to come on, do the best that you can to put a stop to it. Try to catch it and nip it in the butt quick. Okay, but don't move on from this. Give this a chance. It's, it is best. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't care what your sign is. I don't care what your element is. I don't care if you're an earth, air, fire, or water sign. Get to know the person you're dealing with as a person first. Okay? Get to know them as a person first. Okay, we need to form a psychological and an emotional connection with the person. Okay, we can't, it can't just be only psychological and it can't be just only emotional. We need to connect in the heart and in the mind. Okay, so we need to make sure that we, we aren't neglecting one of those connections. Okay, and I know, like I said, it doesn't matter what your sign is, but typically air signs and earth signs are really bad about only forming a mental connection. And fire signs and water signs can be really bad about only forming an emotional connection. <clears throat> we need to do both. We need to do both, okay? Don't move on from this. And if you can, avoid that conflict, okay? Avoid the conflict, okay? Because it's, again, it's like, oh, okay, well, if I, read your t if I read your cards and say, well, if you walk across that frozen lake, it's going to crack. But as long as you take the right steps in the right places, you'll survive. It's not going to bust. Are you still going to take that chance? No, no, that's stupid. I'm not going to walk across the damn lake. I'm going to avoid that frozen water over there. You see what I'm saying? Anyway, I do feel like that was your all's message, so I am going to go ahead and end the reading here. At least it ended. It started off negative. I was like, oh, oh, man, damn, you know? I always feel so bad, though. The water signs always have, like, it seems like crazy dramatic readings. The water signs always do, you know? And, uh, but at least it pulled into a positive outcome at the very last minute with that Ten of Cups energy. But Anyway, I feel like that was your message. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I want to thank everybody for tuning in and playing along. Not just here for this video, but every single video you guys show up to and, and show support and love and, and positive feedback and all the sharing my videos all over social media and the comments and the super chats on my live streams. And dude, I greatly appreciate all the support. Don't forget to look in the description box of the video for information on how to schedule personal readings. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here now, y'all. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you sometime between now and the rest of all eternity. Y'all have a good day.